Hello, I'm Woodland Spirit, and this is a playdate with Project Root. Now, before you start the game, it is re recommended that you do play through the tutorial because when I was looking through the game, I am just basing my opinion on the screenshots. I made the mistake of thinking it was a scrolling shooter. This is not the case. It is a full 3D world if you follow the instructions for movement and looking about as it goes through the tutorial and you get uh, get the idea of how things work and control so you have like a primary weapon an uh, air weapon, should I say, and a uh, ground weapon also. So the primary weapon, the air weapon, takes out flying objects, and the ground weapon takes out ground objects also. So as I say, it is re recommended to just do a quick run through the tutorial just to get a feel of the game because I made the mistake of thinking it was a scroll shooter and it's not a scroll shooter. So, which enemy units? Where? None of them dropped anything, did they? Ah, oh, yes, the one did, sorry. There you go. So that's the special weapon which is the right bumper there you go uh, you can pick up different types of special weapons as well each has a different ability so um, right yes so I'll go on to level one just get through the story bit And you start to get a good feel of how the game plays. So you gotta work watch out for weapon um enemies flying. I think if there's one bit of advice I can give is to keep moving. Take out these targets. Um, I'm not even sure when. Ah, green ar arrow always points you to the primary target. I ah, have one that's left to drop. I'll pick that up. That's me, little cl um, cluster of missile, that special weapon. So I'm still heading this way, am I? I need to destroy the refinery, it's telling me. Now also, um, what sets it apart from the scrolly shooter as well, um, is the fact that you uh, pick up experience to level up the ship, aspects of the ship. So as you play, as you play through the game, you upgrade the ship, make it better performing and as it gives you a better chance if you're attacking the levels on a higher difficulty also so now I need to disable the shield power generators so I need to head over this way take out the ground target Oop. Little missile turret, uh, surface to him, missile thingy hiding there. Whoop. So, yeah, um, as I say, keep moving. Well, I don't need, really need to mess about with them because that's not where my target is, is it? Whoop. Yep, you'll find that there's all sorts firing at you from left, right and centre, hence the 
keep moving. Oh, to get rid of the various. Oh, that one was a bit of a waste. Oh, there was a pick up there. It's gone. So, is this part? Yep, part of the shield generators. So, it's giving me a second shield genera generator target. So I need to work my way over this way. I will do it. Oh, another target to take down. Oops, something shot at us. That shield generator is disabled, it looks like it is. So now, what am I doing? New primary target destroyed refinery complex, which is where I was came from effectively. Ah, hello. Ground air targets, ground target. Each level stroke mission. Um, you get a set of lives and basically complete the mission in a allotted count of lives without without losing all of them basically. Uh, obviously the lives are self-contained to each level so it's refreshed at the start of each level you play. Away. More ground targets. Might as well ditch this green uh, there. Ground target as well. Ah, here we are in the refinery. Oh, I've just realised I'm actually shooting them uh, missiles. Destroy. Right, destroy the refinery complex. Destroy power storage facility. Which is which? Ah. Right, so the yellow targets on the little mini map, the radar, are the secondary objective. And I'm assuming the red is the primary objective. Oh, hello. Oh, I've still got a set of missile. Yeah, the uh Certain special weapons are helpful when working objectives like destroying building type objects. Right here. Object complete. So now on to the main primary objective. Whoop. Oh, something else shooting. Ah! This isn't good. This isn't good. This isn't good. Ah, everywhere I go, there's something, a new thing firing at me. Yeah, if you, if you get hit, as you it depletes a shield or power level or however you want to think of it and some enemy dro we drop a, a, like a repair wrench which we pair the, that one's like that one there and it's restored the green at the top and the blue underneath is your experience progression to your next level how uh, this special weapon I've got is like a blue circle. This is 
does that temporarily disables the fire output of enemies. So I ultimately need to be destroying these things. Whoa! Try not to get hit in the process. I do love blowing things up like that. It's very satisfying. Hello. There was a n yeah, I thought there was. So that's it. Oh, there's one sneak in there. Something else shooting at us from somewhere. Ah, you're helpful. That one off over there. Kind of like a like a shield and power up, uh, pick up there that gives you sort of like a limited protection. Something like ah, there you are. You will promptly be destroyed like that. That's the primary objective complete. And then it gives you a little bit of narrative. So engage enemy patrols over this way. Oh, hello. Oh, I think I like that one. Obviously, it doesn't hit anything off the screen. Don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I'm supposed to be heading this way ish. So I will head this way. I guess this is the enemy patrol. Well that was a waste wasn't it? Maybe that'd be more effective. Ow, careful. Ow! I don't like that one really. But I will entertain it anyway. Oh, oh, that's a better one. That's just a like a missile output that doesn't home in on any target. You investigate unknown energy enemy signature, which is whoop careful. Ah, just one need. Let's destroy the. Oh, hello. Get these, remove these from the equation, and now the many sneaky attacks. So over here. Whoop! No, you don't. Whoop! Hello. I've been trapped into an area. Now this is where you really have to do keep moving. Gives you a bit more narrative. I don't want that ultimately. Oh, there we go. There's a big ship to destroy. Oh, extra Yeah, extra man. Try not to lose a life, picking up an extra life. And so it's you have to really keep moving. So 
it's relatively straightforward if you know how to do it. And there you go, mission complete. And an achievement. Hey, try 100 kilometers. <laughs>